Hello, my name is Obona Ogu, married to Omozafe Ogu. I'm the marketing director for an advertising and media firm. And this is my salvation story. Born into a Catholic family, Ogbonna's ideology of Christianity was pretty much orthodox. He didn't understand much of it, but it was all he knew as Christianity until his mom said she was saved and moved them to a Bible-based church. His confusion <laughs> deepened. It was, it was a new experience for us. We were used to um, praying in a different way and we learned how to pray in, an, in another way by the time we started going to a Bible-believing church. Obuna lived the life of an unbeliever even though he had been saved. He didn't want people thinking he wasn't cool or fun. Um, because I had this, I had this initial, you know, mindset um, because of where we went to that if you give your life to Christ, you are going to be poor because the, the church we went to were a lot of lower class people, um, if, I, if I may say so. And Christianity wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. So I, I, I felt that if I gave my life to Christ, I was going to be one boring human being. So I pretty much ran away from God, but I know I know um, God wanted a relationship with me. Um, one of the times my mom used to pray, she said God had already told her that he was going to draw all of us to, to him. And so he enjoyed his reputation until one day's tragedy struck. Things changed was, was when my parents died. My, my parents died in very quick, in quick succession of each other. And um, I was just alone in this world. You know, there's this feeling of, of being alone. With no parent figure, Obuna further immersed himself into the world, searching for the missing parts in his life. Losing both parents left an even wider void in his soul. And so he yearned for love, care, and acceptance. Soon after, he found what seemed like the solution to his despair. He could have sworn he hit gold. In, in my early 20s, I proceeded to get married to someone who I had no business marrying. And it was something, it was a marriage set up on the wrong foundation. And a year and a half later, we got divorced. She just left me and sent me divorce papers. He would never have imagined that within one year, he would lose both parents and also be a divorcee, all in his early 20s. After all this, he plunged much deeper into unimaginable depression. One of these days, I was walking on the road and every, everything about my life just came um, straight to me. I, I, felt, I felt broken. My parents had died. I was just newly divorced and I just felt that I needed to, to, to search for God. You know, so the next day I looked for a church to go to and, you know, attended service there. The next midweek service, I, I, you know, dedicated my life to God, giving my life to Christ. And it seemed like the floodgates um, opened. I stared hearing from God. God actually showed me a scripture. When I learned how to really read the Bible and, and pray, God showed me a scripture that he was going to restore all my broken years. And I didn't know how that was going to happen. Um, so I just stared to see God's hand in my life. Things took a turn for good when he reconnected with an old friend from school. They started hanging out and it clicked. He knew he had finally hit gold. He had absolutely no doubts. One of the first things he did was um, connect me to my wife. So I put up um, a remembrance photo of my, my dad's death on Facebook. And my wife, my wife asked me then, she, we used to be old schoolmates and she was my Facebook friend at the time. And she asked me, do, do you want to talk? And she came to, my place and we had a conversation and then I knew that I had to, this was going to be my wife. Life was good as God had healed and restored his soul. More than anything in the world, he was determined to stay connected to God. And so he went in search of the church he would call home. And we both came to DCC together. In the first service we attended, immediately, Papa stood up and spoke. He actually dealt with things that you know, I and my wife were dealing with at the point in time. And previously, before then, I had been speaking to God that I needed, I needed a family. Finally, he was home. He found his family, 
Determined not to only receive but to give, he serves in the discovery department and in several other capacities in the church. Maybe I sat in that service. God told me that this is where you're going to be. Um, in, in, it was so clear, like I know my name. This is where I got prophetic, prophetic messages about my, um, my family, about how we're going to get a child. You know, we've, we've been believing God for children and God has already had given us a word. But on the pulpit, God also spoke to us. Do you have children? No, sir. Children are coming. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. It's part of the package. I got a word for you. God said the wait is over. Actually serving God is, the, is, is actually the most interesting thing about my life now. Not my work, not, not my work, my, my serving God is the most interesting and um, amazing thing about my life right now.